so next is uh, hepato pancreato ability surgery and um, it's first uh, um, v1 so it's colorectal liver mats a 67 year old male patient consults you in the clinic with a newly diagnosed synchronous metastatic sigmoid cancer to the liver he has four mats in segment six seven and eight in a small mats in the segment two of the liver he has not yet had the sigmoid dissection how would you manage this patient so there are several issues to consider here number one is the sigmoid colon symptomatic like bleeding perforation obstruction impending obstruction if this is the case then we have to address this first and second is how much is the tumor burden in the liver is uh, is involving bilobes how many mats are there after resecting the mats how much uh, functional liver remnant will remain behind and third thing is has the staging been complete our patient still has uh, mats uh, only in the liver or mats somewhere else so the presence of bilobe or uh, liver mats confer a poor prognosis uh, especially if it's synchronous and uh, the key principle of management would be new adjuvant chemotherapy if primary cancer is not symptomatic and then the and uh, and then after chemotherapy patient will need uh, a surgery its surgery could be staged or it could be synchronous and for symptomatic primary disease the segment could need to be addressed before new adjuvant chemotherapy start and this can be resection or defunctioning stoma or stenting or resection okay this patient has no other mats are his multiple liver lesions a contraindication to surgery no liver only mats is no contraindication to the surgery and the current guidelines dictate that as long as the r0 resection can be achieved leaving enough functional liver remnant it should be done and sometime mm, where the functional uh, functional residual uh, remnant is inadequate in there we can do the stage resection or we can do some techniques like portal vein embolization for liver hypertrophy or combined resection with ablation techniques and uh, sometimes new adjuvant uh, chemotherapy is also used just to increase the uh, upper portal and up resectable tumor to increase the upper ability to r0 so we'll switch the scenario and the ct scan show the small lung mats would you still consider liver resection yes this is no longer a contraindication to surgery current guidelines favor that uh, for resectable liver and extra hepatic mats provided r0 resection can be achieved an extra hepatic disease that is included in this constitution should be small volume resectable uh, lung mats or isolated uh, solitary intra-abdominal extra hepatic mats like the adrenals or the spleen what are your thoughts regarding the timing of the bowel and the liver sections again this depends on whether the primary smart colon is symptomatic and needs to be addressed as a priority for example impending obstruction or bleeding in the absence of a symptomatic primary the current guidelines favor new adjuvant chemotherapy mm, for synchronous liver mats using the fall fox in a sandwich fashion that is chemotherapy then surgery and then chemotherapy after the initial cycle of new adjuvant chemotherapy the surgical options are staged resection of colon and liver six weeks apart a uh, synchronous resections in the same setting in this particular patient because of the extensive liver resection expected my preference would be for stage resection and the sequence has uh, not been shown in the to matter um, in my practice i would prefer laparoscopic resection for the sigmoid primary and a stage open liver resection 6 weeks later thank you